you, uh, Professor, you often speak of uh, the veracities of Nigerian African leaders and their lack of democracy credentials. How do you rate South Sudan leaders, especially Kiran Macha? You know, these who are freedom fighters, and when you are dealing with freedom fighters, sometimes it is not very easy to transition from freedom fighter to a politician who understands the dynamics or appreciates the dynamics of modern day politics. In many African countries, and this is not only true of South Sudan, I see it in uh, Zimbabwe, I see it to a limited extent in Namibia, I see it in South Africa. Freedom fighters think that the country owes them. And for that reason, they don't want to be questioned. They say, where were you when we were suffering in the bush? And it's very few of them who succeed in saying, we did our bit and we can therefore hand over the baton to another generation. One prays and hopes that President Kir and, President, and Vice President uh, Riek Machar and their other comrades in arms will see the wisdom of creating a new generation of South Sudanese who will not have the entitlement that the liberation fighters normally have because good and sound leadership not only demands but requires that we have a long-term view of the country. That is why the Chinese are now conquering the world economically. Because the Chinese plan for 100 years, they don't plan for the next election. Mm -hmm. The South Koreans are the same. Mm -hmm. The Vietnamese after the war are the same. The Japanese after the World War II are the same. Unfortunately, in many African countries, we think on a short-term basis. And we are obsessed with elections and its outcome without more. Mm -hmm.